this new shit crusade new wave new drip to pay they trip suitcase man what is up guys it's mcd at wcr and i'm back today with another reaction how's your week going hope everyone's okay at home so today i'm gonna check out outro tier by bts live at wembley this is a big one it's come up by far the most I think in my comments so I thought you know what let's just go and check it out I've heard so many good things about it people are excited for me to listen to it and I'm excited to experience it I've never been to Wembley Stadium for some reason I've been to Wembley Arena which is right next door a few times for gigs but never actually Wembley Stadium itself so I'm you know this is a a brand new experience for me and I can't wait to see it. Hope you guys are having a good week. If you're new to the channel, smash that like and subscribe button because it really helps me out. And without further ado, let's check this out. This is BTS outro tier live from Wembley Stadium. Big old crowd. Those green lasers look dope. like swirling ambience building up you can tell it's building up and it's just creating this awesome atmosphere and those strings are lovely it's RM. Listen to that anger in his voice. This instrumental. This uh, instrumental is awesome. It's got these like electronic swirling elements. It's almost got like a kind of like techno -y electronica strings going on in the background or synth sorry and it just it sounds dramatic and kind of sad actually there's definitely like a sadder more emotional undertone to this one as opposed to their more upbeat aggressive stuff so yeah i i, I like it <laughs> i think that's quite a cool line i'm paraphrasing what he said but uh hang on let me go back he said Stop saying things like forever. Forever, after all, the end originally exists. That's quite deep if you think about it. How can there be such a thing as forever when the end exists? You know, that's quite profound. The same bar, simple but effective. J Hope, with that sick deal, get up. This is really pretty. Listen to those swelling strings. That was cool. I love that really echoey, reverby string, that boom, 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 boom in the background. It's, it just makes it sound like, I don't know, the, what, the word I used, is, it's just so atmospheric and kind of a little bit spooky. It's got this dark, emotional vibe to it that I, I'm really enjoying. It kind of reminds me of a ping from a submarine sonar. It, it's just, it's hard to explain, but you get me, you know the song. We I'm 
lyrics, they're very self-deprecating, you know, he's saying like, basically shatter my heart into pieces and then tread on the fragments. You know, that's quite sad, that's quite emotional, and it's... It's about expressing that emotion and sadness through lyrics, and I think they're doing a really, really solid job of this. This is dope. <laughs> So yeah, burn it as not to leave ashes behind, he's saying like completely erase me from existence, you know, not even leave behind anything, just completely take me out. Again, it's it's sad, it's it's beautifully emotive though, and I, I'm really, really enjoying this. Anger. <laughs> And this bit, the way the tone changes ever so slightly, it's almost like it moves from anger and resentment into kind of acceptance. It's almost like it's kind of playing out the seven stages of grief, you know. You've got anger in there, you've got depression, you've got bargaining, and now it's kind of moving into kind of an acceptance feel to it all. It's my amateur psychology for the day. So he's saying that dream has finally become a dream, it's like acceptance. Strings are so pretty. It's J Hope. Look at his face. Look at the the desperation and the emotion in his face he is feeling every single word and that is why i think j-hope is my favorite my personal favorite of the three rappers uh, rm sugar and j-hope i think the other two are technically better like more accomplished rappers and more complex lyrically but j-hope he just feels every single word and you can see that in his body language and the anguish on his face and for me that connects with me on such a deep level that I just, I love it, man. So look at him. He felt that, that really took it out of him. And that's it, that ended very abruptly. All right, okay. Yeah, my thoughts on that. That was awesome. I can see why that was so highly recommended, especially for me as a rapper. It was emotional, it was angry. It went through, as I say, it felt like it went through the stages of grief all the way through to acceptance, you know? And I love emotional music. My favorite singer of all time, and this is probably a kind of a weird choice, is a guy called Jonathan Davis, who is the lead singer from a band called Korn. And I love him because his lyrics and delivery were all about emotion and you can see he feels everything he's sing singing about and he connects with it like if you go and watch old shows of Korn when he is like his body is contorting and he's crying and screaming and you know it taught me as a young man that it is okay to cry and it is okay to feel emotion because until I discovered them you know I thought it wasn't okay for men to show emotions and stuff like that and you know, I grew up in a very masculine household with a lot of toxic masculinity and music and singers like that taught me that it's okay to be broken and J-Hope just delivers that so well. He is very similar, like I feel it in his body language. I believe what he is saying. I find it incredibly authentic and 
that makes it connect with me on a personal level, you know? I really feel it and here it gives me like goosebumps, it makes my hair stand on end. And that's what I want from music. There are very few performers or singers that I feel can do that. So that is huge praise for him. The other two guys as well, they are awesome. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they don't feel the emotion. But I feel there's something with J-Hope where he really, really, it really gets to him. It's almost like it's taking a part of him every time he performs. And the performance as a whole was super tight as I come to expect. They are consummate professionals, you know, with the choreo in there still. Not as not as choreo heavy as their more upbeat songs. Obviously, why would it be? It's a sad song. Uh, the lyrics were great. You know, there was a lot of bleak, almost nihilistic sad self-deprecating lyrics in there about the end of a relationship or the breakdown of a relationship and I think we've all felt similar you know the great thing about rap and what drew me to rap in the first place is it's like poetry to music you know and poetry is dope don't let anyone tell you poetry isn't dope and it's basically putting those feelings into music i feel like rap is one of the only genres really where you can really tell a story and the three guys they're excellent they work really well together the crowd were loving it i'm sure there were a few tears shed in the audience and yeah i can see why it was recommended you know it's it's a wonderful piece of art showcasing the bare bones of human emotion you know just the rawness of it all and the beat was so pretty those swelling synths and strings just sounded awesome you know it sounded big it sounded ominous and emotional and it was making me invested and it made me feel tense and nervous you know so all in all just an amazing package and they conveyed it so well and yet i really really loved that and it's another style in the bts wheelhouse that i hadn't seen yet i'd seen save me and stuff but i feel like this was another level of sort of darkness almost and i, I really enjoyed it i'm feeling a little bit you know taken aback by it and I need just a moment to really let that sit with me and think about it but I loved it so yeah thanks for that guys um that has left me a little bit speechless yeah I I, I I don't really know what to say it's made me feel quite sad thank you for suggesting that one please let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed the reaction and let me know what you'd like me to react to next also, just to say, my friend Ryan, who you've seen on my channel, he started his own channel now, so make sure you get over there and show him some love, because he's uh, working through some, some of the reactions you've suggested under the videos as well. Until the next time, guys, please take care of yourselves and look after each other. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace! Who this? New shit. Crusade. New wave. New drip. Toupee. They trip. Super.